Hey, so I've had a few people ask about the size of the room, uh, which I can totally understand because when I was getting started before I even bought this house, um, I watched like, you know, Third Floor Arcade with Jason and, you know, uh, other people's, you know, game room tours. And that was one of the things I was always curious about was, you know, how big's the room to understand how many cabinets I can fit in. But uh, one of the things I haven't seen shown a lot is uh, what it's like to actually move around in the room, you know, to, to understand like how much space you have between the cabinets and, and, and things like that. So that's one of the, the things I wanted to try to answer in this video. So this is me. I'm six foot three, 225 pounds. So I'm not, a, not necessarily a small guy. Uh, but it's really easy for me to walk around, you know, uh, playing on a cabinet. There's plenty of space behind me, you know. I never feel like I'm going to bump into a, another machine or anything like that. Um, and even if I, I grab a stool, it's really convenient to play, you know, on any of the games on a stool. Uh, get really comfortable. This is, you know, usually I like to be pretty fairly close. Um, but, you know, I, I haven't found it to be difficult at all to move around, uh, in the room, uh, like I said, with, with, you know, playing with or without a stool, uh, and between these cabinets is 28 inches. So roughly pretty much anywhere you measure it's 28, I think is the, the narrowest. So it goes anywhere from 28 to 30, uh, at the Neo Geo, cause it's a little narrower, um, yeah, that's about it in terms of this side. Uh, the room, the total dimensions, uh, the room is 13 feet wide and 14 feet long. Uh, but that also includes the closet, uh, which is where my desk is located. And that takes up about two feet. Uh, so the, the room, it's like all of the games or, you know, arcade machines, bookcases and all that uh, all fit in 13 by 12 uh, is the amount of space. So I'm going to show the other side real quick. Pardon me while I move this. Let's see what we look like there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so on this side again, uh, I've got my four player pedestal here, you know, plenty of room for, for players to get around it. Um, I plan to add in some AE light guns. They You have to be roughly three feet from the screen uh, to use those. So once I have my you know, my final cab will be about here. Uh, I think that's roughly three feet. We'll see. We'll see how well it works. Uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll figure something else out. I may put it, uh, you know, put a dedicated gun cabinet where the arcade is and put it in the mix. Um, but one of the ones that, that somebody specifically asked about, you know, was how do you play the pinball machine? And, you know, again, uh, I'm 6'3", so... I, I've never bumped into the bookcase behind me while I'm playing uh, and able to play pretty comfortably. I can even actually play the pinball on a stool, even though that's really weird. I never do that, uh, but I have actually tried it uh, just to see if it would fit, and that fits as well. So anyway, I hope that gives you an idea, um, you know, how many machines you can fit in a room. Uh, total, I have, uh, I think, seven... Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there will be 15 total arcade machines in the room and the one virtual pin uh, and then the arcade uh, separate and uh, the pedestal. So, uh, and of course the bookcases. So you can fit a lot of machines in, uh, in 13 by 12 and it's still comfortable to play everything. So thanks.